Hey guys, welcome to Pick 6, the show where we answer questions from you, the best fans in the NFL. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into it. First question comes from Mike in Sleepy Eye, Minnesota. And Mike wants to know, Afadi's fumble return yesterday got me thinking. Who do you think are the Vikings' most unsung heroes this season? Great question, Mike. And I think you hit it on the nose to start. Afadi is absolutely one of them. He's a guy who was a seventh round pick, worked his way off the practice squad into the rotation, and not only did he have that game-changing play on Sunday, he also had that 13-yard sack against Russell Wilson at the end of the Seahawks game that gave us one final chance to win. Uh, beyond Afadi, I think I'd also have to say the offensive line as a whole. You know, for years, our fans have lost their mind at the struggles of this unit. And so to see those guys playing as well as they are this year is really great. And I think they absolutely deserve some credit. Next up, we have Zach and Fairbolt who wants to know, with it looking like a division championship is unlikely, who would you prefer to play on the road in the playoffs? Well, first things first, we're not even in the playoffs, Mike, so knock on some wood. And I hate to give up the division at this point, but you asked the question, so let's do it. Uh, if the Vikings do end up the sixth seed, for me personally, the ideal situation is the Packers are the three seed and the Seahawks are the one seed. We've already gone into both buildings and competed in one score games. We know we can play with them, so give me those two back to back. Plus. It does not get much better than a playoff game against your rival in Lambeau. Uh, next question is going to be from Blair in my hometown of Alexandria. Any updates on Delvin Cook's injury? You know, obviously this is a little bit of a wait and see, uh, but Mike Zimmer did say in his Monday press conference that Delvin does feel good and the shoulder injury is something that he could play through if he needed to. So this most likely will come down to how necessary the Viking staff feels like Delvin's presence is. And we probably won't know that until all the games have happened on Sunday and we know what we're playing for on Monday night. Uh, additionally, I think it's important to understand how much our staff loves our running backs. That's why we kept four backs, five, including CJ Ham, on the roster instead of five receivers. So if Delvin can't go, uh, this staff loves Madison, who's coming back healthy, Boone, Abdullah, and Ham, and they should be able to hold us over uh, until he is back. Next up, Hunter in Worthington, my other hometown. Uh, the offense has proven they can get it done, but the defense has me nervous on game days. What is causing our defense to struggle so much lately? Uh, well, first of all, Hunter, terrible timing on this question. We are coming off a game where we had seven turnovers right after another game where we only gave up seven points. But I do understand your concern. We're used to this Vikings defense smothering teams, shutting them down start to finish, and it hasn't necessarily gone that way this season. But let me give you some important things to hang your hat on. One, we're forcing turnovers at a higher rate than we have in past years, which means this defense is more opportunistic. And secondly, and more importantly, we are one of the best red zone defenses in the league. So yes, we're giving up yards, yes, we're giving up some chunks, but when a team comes down into our area and is trying to put something on the board, we are holding them to threes. And I think both of those things will be huge for us in a stretch run here. Next up, Stephanie and Woodbury wants to know, there are a lot of interesting matchups in this next game. Is there any matchup in particular that you believe will be key? Well, Stephanie, anytime two great teams get together, I think everything starts and finishes with the line play. Our O-line versus their D-line and vice versa. Who's gonna win those matchups? But beyond that, I'll personally be keeping my eye on Devontae Adams versus the Vikings secondary. The Packers haven't received a lot of help from their other options, and the Vikings' pass defense, as fans know, has struggled at times this year. So if they can successfully shut down Devontae Adams and force the game into the hands of Jimmy Graham, Lazard, and Aaron Jones, I, I like our chances on Monday night. Final question from Quinton in Emory. Will we end up just being a one and done in the playoffs, or do we have a shot to make a run? Again, Quentin, I'm not ready to put us in the playoffs. We got to win. We got to earn it. 
and then I'll talk more plants, but you asked the question, uh, my, I'm, not, I'm, just, I'm not a negative guy. I'm never going to pick my favorite team to not have a shot to move deep into the playoffs. But even beyond that notion, if I'm being thoroughly honest, I absolutely think this team has a shot. We have, we've, we've shown that we have an offensive explosiveness that very few teams in the league have. We're never out of any game. We showed that in huge comebacks against the Broncos and the Packers. And our defense is filled with stud players that if everything comes together here, right, this is when you need to be playing great football. And if everything comes together for us right at the right moment, we have a great shot to make a big time run in the playoffs. That's going to do it for us here on Pick 6. Thank you guys so much for your questions. If you'd like to send us a question, vikings.com slash pick 6. You can see your words right here on the screen. Enjoy Packer Week, everybody. We will see you soon.